so, the rumors about American giants from United States Army base in South Korea are just confirmed to be true thanks to this incredible footage obtained by Igor Kryan. Military Hanvi height is over 6 feet or almost 2 meters. If you install 4 feet or 1 meter tall HMG on Hanvi roof or 50 caliber heavy machine gun like you are seeing here now, the total weight of vehicle would be almost 10 feet or over 3 meters. This soldier towering above the other soldiers and 10 feet Humvee with HMG on top making his height close to 12 feet or 4 meters tall, also making him real Nephilim giants. The military intelligence insider said they secretly created those Nephilim soldiers in this lab and brought them to South Korea to intimidate North. Average height of North Korean soldiers only slightly above 5 feet or 1.5 meters. And the United States military intelligence is trying to scare them out of the battle with 12 feet or 4 meters tall giants. But this giant site also makes them a good target on the battlefield. bought prototype to try out it's a little dinged up because they only have one so don't mind the scratches and stuff but yeah comment down below let me know what you <laughs> okay um comment down below what you want me to um test with this thing and i will get to it i'll make a video did you know that tesla were building this that's not a car it's most definitely not. It's a five foot eight, 125 pound humanoid robot. Uh, why? They've said it's to replace humans from doing repetitive, boring and dangerous tasks. Still doesn't make sense why it looks like a robot out of that Will Smith movie. Well, there is another theory that Elon Musk is gonna send them to Mars on his space program. Ooh, this could be interesting. Well, remember to follow me so you can find out what he actually does with them. Tesla has announced the development of an AI run humanoid robot. Elon Musk claims that the purpose of the bot will be to perform dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks and is intended to be friendly. At a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. Uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. It will function using the same AI technology that powers Tesla's autopilot feature in their cars. Musk said that he intends to create a prototype of the robot by next year. It's unclear if that timeline will stick, as Tesla is currently under investigation over its autopilot AI. In the same week as Tesla's announcement, Boston Dynamics released the latest video of its humanoid robots performing parkour moves. The company calls the robot a research platform designed to push the limit. which will include features similar to Tesla's autopilot system and artificial intelligence technology. As most of you know already, the Tesla vehicles are basically robots on legs too. They require complex software to operate the way they do, and the similarities between those cars and these robots can't be missed. Another fascinating aspect of this police bot project is the cognitive independence these robots will have. This will be interesting to see because the robots will have to work exactly like real law enforcement officers, but minus the mistakes. Of course, this is if we disregard malfunctioning, but only time will tell how the whole thing plays out. Musk has been a vocal supporter of sustainability and green energy, as is evident with his electric vehicle empire. So we're curious to see whether the same philosophy will be applied to this latest project. In classic Tesla fashion, the company has not released much information about how the Tesla bot will actually function, or if they've run any preliminary tests that are relevant to law enforcement. Close followers of the company have predicted that Musk might have already run tests, and the results came out even better than he was expecting. According to reports, the bot will be released to the public in late 2022, and will be supposedly the most powerful and innovative AL we have yet to see. And with that, today's video comes to a close. What do you think the future of law enforcement will look like? And do you think the Tesla bot will change the industry as we know it? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Shalom.
I want to start off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect who are continuing to fight and teach this thing of ours in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Manatazak, back with another lesson. And through the Spirit, I want to get into a lesson on a dream that I received, which, uh, Lord willing, I perceive to be a vision, okay, of the hopeful elect, the elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, facing off against robots and super soldiers in the underground bunkers of the elite, okay? Now, as you've seen uh, in the beginning uh, of the video, uh, there's a uh, footage of uh, a supposed super soldier, okay, in the military, okay? Followed by uh, different images of footage captured of these large muscular soldiers, okay, uh, uh, being, uh, sent on covert missions across the globe okay now we've known for a long time that uh art imitates life okay and through esau's predictive programming he shows you the things that he's really doing behind the scenes behind the veil so to speak movies like captain america you know where they have super soldiers ejected with this serum well esau really has that stuff and these soldiers are really out there okay also too Okay, Elon Musk, who's, you know, been in the news as of late for purchasing Twitter and, you know, uh, obviously with his uh, uh, SpaceX program and, and Tesla, okay, now he's starting to make humanoid robots that can think for themselves, okay, and, and in the vision, the men of the Lord were facing off against these giant sentient robots, okay, these faceless robots, all right, and I, and I, I, I with that in the beginning of the video too just to uh show you out there you know what uh esau edom is doing and what he plans to do okay but he has a very sinister and nefarious plan in the works okay that's going to go over everybody's head okay these super soldiers and these robots in this vision they were guarding the entrances to these deep underground bunkers Okay, because Esau Edom knows that his end is coming and he knows the men of the Lord are going to come to collect them. And he has what he perceives to be sufficient enough security measures to protect him in that day. But he's going to fail miserably. Okay, and in the vision I received, the men of the Lord came down into those bunkers. Okay, and completely annihilated their so called security system. Okay, they put to flight these uh these super soldiers who who at first seemed emotionless okay they they, they just seemed like uh, uh they were mindless that they were there um just to do a job okay but as soon as the men of the lord put their hands on them okay their mortality returned and they were screaming in pain and in fear okay but i'll you know i'll get into that through the spirit but i want to bring these uh scriptures out first okay we're going to begin in uh the book of second peter chapter 3 uh, beginning at verse 8 or beginning at verse 9 okay it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promises or concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to usward not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and that's dealing with the hopeful elect okay because these scriptures okay first and foremost is to the hopeful elect True indeed, all Israel shall be saved, okay? But on this go around, the Habashim Hashai is only dealing with the elect, okay? And, and the things that we're going through is for our amendment, not for our destruction. The different trials and tribulations and chastisements, okay? It's to perfect us, okay, and purify us, okay? And once that last member comes to repentance, then the destruction is going to come. And we are in the midst of those times now through the Spirit. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. There is also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And this is what we're waiting on. We are on the cusp of the second death, the nuclear war, okay, where Babylon the Great will be completely destroyed. These are the prophecies that are coming to pass in these days that we are living, okay? And these are the days that we are hastening for. Because in order for us to receive the kingdom, the destruction must come. Okay? Verse 11. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So seeing that everything here in Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, 
Okay, why put your stakes here? Okay, everything here is vanity anyway. This is not our continuing city. This is not our rest. We are in the land of our captivity. So what manner of persons ought you to be once you know these things? It says in all holy conversation and godliness, which is going into your conduct, living by the law, statutes, and commandments, putting off that old man, okay? Now, me personally, I'm fortunate enough to uh, work with brothers in the camp, okay, at, 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 the, at the plantation. So all throughout the week, we're having, having holy conversation, speaking spiritual things, okay? And then we meet on the battlefield, such as today, okay? You know, I'm in my car recording this lesson through the Spirit before we hit the front lines, okay? And oftentimes, you know, during our breaks, you know, I'll share with brothers that, Lord willing, if, if I'm one of those men, I want to be one of the men that personally go down into the deep, deep underground bunkers, okay? Because I know that, the, that there's cities down there, okay? There's cities down there, and, and the Lord allowed me to see a brief glimpse of that, which I perceive to be a vision, because we know that they're hiding in these deep underground bunkers, that they're hiding down in uh, uh, facilities in the ocean, that they have their Elysium space stations up in space, okay? And oftentimes when I'm having conversations with the brothers, I tell them that, Lord willing, I, I get to be one of those brothers that, that gets to go grab these elites down in these uh, bunkers down, down here on Earth, in the mountains. I've always desired to see that, okay? It says, uh, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Now, this is a question, okay? Everything here is going to be dissolved. Everything is going to melt with fervent heat, okay? This has to happen before our kingdom is established. Everything has to be burned up, has to be cleansed, and it will happen, Okay? Now, um, I want to get uh, into these scriptures just to show you that these deep underground bunkers, okay, they're in the scriptures. They're mentioned. They're written about. Okay. Uh, all, even all the way back uh, in the Old Testament, the prophets, okay, always spoke the same thing. We're going to begin in the book of Isaiah chapter 2, okay, beginning at verse 10. It's like it says, enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust. For fear of Yahweh Bashimi Ashai and for the glory of his majesty. Okay? For fear of Yahweh Bashim Ashai and the glory of his majesty. Okay, the elites, they've known that Yahweh Bashim Ashai is going to return. Why do you think they established their space station? Okay, uh, uh, their space forces. Because they expect to fight the Son of the Most High when he comes back. It's already prophesied that they're going to lose miserably, miserably, but in his own pride and hubris, he believes. That he could take on the Most High. That's the pride of this devil. And as we know through the scriptures, pride goes before destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall. And that describes Esau Edom to a T. Okay? Now in this vision, which, which was really quick, okay? But it was powerful, okay? Because the, uh, uh, the men of the Lord, we came down in those spiritual bodies. And we phased through the rocks and entered right into these deep underground military bases. These bunkers. And, and just how, as I perceive, these deep underground military bunkers that the elites are hiding in, they are literal cities, okay? Larger than, than what you would believe would be established underground, okay? For those of you that have been to Las Vegas, okay, the, uh, I forget which casino it is, but when you look up, the, the ceiling in the casino is an artificial sky that constantly changes uh, from seasons, from night to day. In the, in the underground bunker that I've seen in my vision, okay, the, the ceiling in the bunker, okay, uh, mimicked the weather outside. So it, it almost looked like you weren't even underground or in a mountain, okay? Everything down there was pristine, it was high tech, and it was guarded by robots and, and super soldiers that were, that were at least nine to 10 feet tall. Actual men, okay? Brolic men. In military regalia, okay? It reminded me of, uh, I believe it was in the first G.I. Joe movie where they uh, were bit with that venom uh, from the serpent that, that uh, basically, uh, they, they were like mindless soldiers being controlled. Now, I don't know if they had the, the brain MOTB or whatever, okay? But, but, but you could tell that they were there for a purpose, okay? 
And they, these were giant men, larger than, than, than life men, but they failed in comparison to the elect. Okay, when I tell you <laughs> that, that the men of the Lord came down, they look like superheroes. And I know that sounds fantastical, it sounds silly, okay? But, but it, was, it, it was no laughing matter, okay? The, the bodies that, that, that these men had, okay? There, there's no amount of working out or calisthenics that you could do on this side to receive the, the type of body that these men had. It, it literally looked like they, they were, they were chis chiseled out of, out of, out of iron. It, 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 was, it was unnatural, like the way it looked. Okay, they, they, they looked like they were like, like metal almost. But, it, but it, they, they had flesh, obviously, okay? And, and there was a light emanating from each man, okay? I, I tried to describe it, um, you know, to the brothers as like when you're uh, at a campfire or, or if you're barbecuing and, uh, you know, you set the coals on fire or you set that log on fire, the fire almost seemed to emanate from within the men and they were glowing different colors, okay? And their eyes were glowing different colors, okay? These 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 were were men, and and I I don't know how to explain it any any better than than that that these were actual men, okay. Now we know that the men of the Lord are men, obviously, but but the bodies that these men had, their countenance, okay, the aura that was around them, okay, you could tell that that these were not regular individuals, not anyone that you would play with, okay. And I was watching it for the from the perspective. Abaratazah, Lord willing, that I was one of them, okay? Now, we looked different. I couldn't tell, you know, who was who. I didn't recognize any of the men around me, okay? But I could tell through the Spirit that, that we were kindred, that we knew each other, and we were there, okay, with one mission, and one mission only, and that was to gather up the elites that were hiding, okay? And when we were in this underground bunker, there was a large circular door Okay, several stories high. I mean, this, this door was unnaturally large, unnaturally wide. Okay, it, it was probably, I mean, maybe 100 or 200 feet high. It was a circle, a large metal door. And legions of soldiers and legions of, 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 of robotic humanoid figures were positioned in front of this door to guard it. Okay, and as soon as the men of the Lord phased into that underground bunker, okay all hell broke loose okay i mean it, it, it looked like a horror scene okay brothers were shooting beams of light out of their eyes out of their hands okay and this underground bunker was so large that brothers were able to take flight now from my perspective i stayed on the ground okay and i, I was uh, uh fighting these uh these uh humanoid robots and i punched one so hard when i tell you the the, the, the power it, it was it was unlike anything I had ever felt before, especially in this weak flesh. You know, I'm all out of shape. You know, <laughs> out out of breath. You know, got all different types of elements, just like any other brother in this truth. We all have our different afflictions, but the power I felt though. I punched this ro this faceless metallic robot in the chest so hard that it broke apart, similar to the, that scene in a uh, 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 what what movie is that? Doctor Manhattan. Uh, the, the watchman when he when he when he uh with just a thought disassembled the tank okay and, and then you know crushed it with, with with his hand okay when i hit this this metal uh, uh humanoid robot in the chest it literally broke apart like that okay and i happened to look down at the at the, at the chest plate and, and and i could see the reflection and i was looking at myself but I didn't look how I look now, okay? And, and, and as I tried to like gauge the figure just to you know get as much detail as I can, I woke up. Like I said, it was a very, very quick vision, a quick dream, okay? But but it but it felt real. And and Lord willing it is. You know, we all we're all in this thing to receive that power, to receive salvation, to Lord willing be uh, a, a man of the Lord, you know. And Lord willing, us doing this work in truth and sincerity get to fall into that lot. Okay? And, you know, oftentimes the Lord will give us visions and different dreams. Okay? Uh, and, you know, sometimes they may seem bugged out. Sometimes they may seem legit. 
this particular dream, I didn't intend to make a lesson on. I just shared with the brethren at my job, okay? But then a video came out of these Tesla robots the other day with Elon Musk mass producing them and talking about all the different things that they could do. And I saw that as a sign through the spirit, okay? So these things are out there. Esau Edom is, is, is making moves and making preparations, okay? to not only hide themselves in the clefts of the rock, but to make a defense against the men of the Lord that are going to come and gather them up, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter two, verse 19. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahashai, and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth, ariseth to shake terribly the earth, okay? And, and, and that's what's going to happen. Okay? When Yahweh Shemashai returns, all hell is going to break loose. Okay? That destruction is going to hit. The men of the Lord are going to be beamed up and changed. And it's oftentimes brought out. We don't know how long we're going to be in those ships. Okay? We don't know how long the ceremony is going to be, the crowning, Lord willing, of our kingship. Okay, but there's going to come a point in time where the men of the Lord come down from those ships and put these elites in slavery. Okay. And and, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, through the through the, the, the mercy and grace of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, okay, I was allowed to see a small glimpse of that, Lord willing. Okay. And I say Lord willing because I'm not making this video to exalt myself on some type of level. I'm just another brother, just like anybody else, doing this work in truth and sincerity. But Lord willing, this, this is used as, as inspiration and motivation for us to continue to go on and to remember what we're fighting for and what we're going to be changed into if we endure until the end. Okay, Lord willing, how about Shemashai keeps the spirit on us to do so. When I say to do so, I mean to endure. As the scriptures say, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. And it's almost apropos that that scripture comes to mind, because here it is, we are at the end, but there are members of GMS turning in their walking papers, deciding to go the lone wolf route, bugging out. You still got scoffers and scorners coming against the doctrine, even amidst all the different prophecies that are coming to pass just the way the apostles and the elders preached it. Okay, even still, you have people coming against the truth, but that remnant, that hopeful elect, are going to stay the course. And Lord willing, all of us doing this work in truth and sincerity, okay, remain until the end. All right, let's skip down, uh, let's keep going. It says, In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they've made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats to go into the clefts of the rock and into the tops of the ragged rock for fear of the Lord Yahweh and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth see she from man who whose breath is in his nostrils for or in is he to be accounted of okay so basically all these different idols of silver or gold there's no life in it so why put your trust in it we're putting our trust in the living power Yahweh Shai. Okay, and they're going to know in that day that those men on the street corners were telling the truth, especially those of our people who scoffed and scorned and mocked and came against us vehemently with hatred. Okay, when all we were doing was telling them that you're the greatest people on the earth, you are the chosen people of Yahweh Shem Shai, and a kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, is awaiting you, a righteous, sinless body is awaiting you. But you come against us as if we're the enemy. You're going to know in that day. And it's going to be too late. All right, let's get Amos 9 and 2. This is the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 2. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Okay, like I said, they had their, 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 their bunkers up in space. The movie Elysium tells you that. Okay. There was a book that came out in the 80s that talked about space being weaponized. Here we are in 2022. Imagine what it really looks like up there. Okay? We've been mining and drilling in the ocean 
for, 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 for how long? Decades. Hundreds of years now. Imagine what kind of stations and, and facilities they have down there. The same can be said for these dumbs, these deep underground military bases. You can only imagine what it looks like. And I got a chance to see it through the spirit. And there are literal cities underground with artificial skies. So real that you couldn't tell if you were above surface or below the ground. And it would make sense that it would be that technologically advanced if they were planning to live there and to wait out this destruction. And that's exactly what, what they're planning in their feeble mind, in, in, in their vanity. They really think that they're going to survive this destruction and rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Okay? But it's not written to happen that way. All right? Revelation 6 and 15, which reads, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Okay, so you can't tell me that these, these elites and these, these bankers don't know these, these uh, prophecies and these precepts. Why would they go through great lengths to spend these trillions and trillions of dollars to make these hidden facilities? Okay, to establish these military uh, 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 branches to make these different types of weapons, laser weapons, and all types of things that we haven't seen. It's to fight against the Lord and to fight against his men because they know that their time is coming and they're not gonna give it up without a fight. Look all throughout history. No kingdom was ever transferred to another without violence. Okay? So do you think Esau and, and, and Jacob is gonna be any different? The scriptures tell you that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So there is going to be a violent transition of power, especially when the one that is going down has a blessing of the sword. Okay? Let's get uh, Jeremiah 51, beginning at verse 17. Jeremiah 51, beginning at verse 17. It says, Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. And every false idol, every false image, every false god is going to be cast down. As I mentioned before, we serve the true living power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, in truth and sincerity. And he is going to show his power in that day. And it will be manifested through his men. Okay? Those men that I seen in that vision, those austere men, okay? were tapped into the infinite energy of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? The infinite energy of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? The true power. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai of hosts is his name. Okay? Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With, it says, with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee I will break in pieces old and young, and with thee I will break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee I will break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee I will break in pieces captains and rulers do you hear what this is saying the most high is going to receive his glory through his men he is going to give his men the power to take down their enemies that true vengeance okay that true retribution okay you have not seen revenge like the way the most high is going to receive it through his men okay when I tell you <laughs> that what these men did, it, it was a horror scene, okay? These stoic, emotionless soldiers, once they felt uh, the power of these men, they were screaming in pain and in fear. 
okay? Blood was everywhere. They were being ripped and shredded apart mercilessly, okay? Mercilessly. And like I said, the vision was real quick, and I, and I wish I could recall better details. But when I tell you, the, the, when the Lord says he's going to make us a sharp threshing instrument, okay, Th these mortal minds cannot perceive the power he is about to give us, okay? When it says our minds shall meditate terror, when it says that we shall be turned into weapons of war, okay? Our minds cannot fathom the things that we are going to be able to do in that righteous body, that body that is able to manipulate elements, manipula manipulate our own molecular structure and those of our enemies and those of our surroundings. You seen the, that the newest movie, uh, Men in Black International, okay? With the Les Twins who played the aliens, okay? Which uh, uh, Esau Edom, okay, they put those melanated men, those Israelite men to represent the angels. Okay, go back and watch that movie and watch the things that they were able to do just to get an inkling, okay, of what it what it's going to be like when the Most High turns that tap on, okay, and lets us loose. When these chains of darkness fade away, okay, and our limitation, okay, that limit breaker, okay, is no more. Okay, then you'll get an idea. And when I say an idea, that's exactly what I mean. Because that type of power has not been seen on this earth. All right. Let's get uh, Isaiah 41, beginning at verse 10. Isaiah 41, verse 10, which reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand okay of my righteousness it says behold all they that are incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they shall be as nothing and they and they that strive with thee shall perish thou shalt seek him them and thou shalt not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught for I, the Lord, Yehovah, Shemashai, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, Yehovah, Shemashai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. So the Most High is reiterating multiple times to fear not that he is going to help us. So, so why, 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 why be, be afraid? The, the scriptures say that the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. And he's sitting here telling us, okay, that he is going to be with his people. The hopeful elect are going to be made into literal weapons. Okay? Literal weapons. Okay? And it, it says, uh... Where's, where's that point? Oh, I'm going to read verse 15 again. It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Okay? The mountains, these governments, the hills, these smaller governments, they are not going to stand a chance when the true government of Yasharala is set up. Okay? They're not going to stand a chance against the governing body of Yahweh Bashimi al Shai. The true governing body. Okay, it says, uh, let's get a Jeremiah 16 and 16. Probably don't intend this lesson to be too long, but I just wanted to bring the point home, and Lord willing, this has been edifying to the hopeful elect. It's Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and they shall fish them. And that's exactly what we're doing. That's exactly what I'm about to do as soon as I close this lesson out. Hit the block. Hit the front lines with the brothers, okay, and fish for the hopeful elect, being obedient to what is what uh, Yahweh Shemashah requires of his men at this time, okay. It says, and they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them, 
okay? And when you go into that word hunt, that goes into a game, to sport. That's when the true fun starts, okay? As the elder of Mawapazak of GMS Los Angeles oftentimes says, that's when the true fun starts. When we're able to let loose and we're able to see what these new bodies can actually do, okay? It says from every mountain and from every hill and from out of the holes of the rocks. So from every large government, every small government, okay? And every deep underground military base, okay? We are going to hunt them. And when we get our hands on them, it's gonna be like nothing this world has ever seen. And as the prophecy says, we are going to do unto them double. You look at the different TV series and movies and history books and Google images of the things he, they, that they, Esau, Edom, and these heathens have done to the southern and northern kingdom. Okay? And times that by two. But not with the bodies of men, with the bodies of spiritual power. Now meditate on that. Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect who are continuing to fight and teach this thing of ours in truth and sincerity. Until the next lesson, Shalom. Don't know that they chose that all. My people don't know that they're special. Uh. Gotta elevate to other levels. Uh. We got a ball like we the rose and all. Uh. My people don't know that they chose that all. Uh. My people don't know that they're special. Uh. Gotta elevate to other levels. Uh. We got a ball like we the rose and all. My people chose it. Uh. Same blood line as Moses. We the people that walk through that ocean. We the people the most I done chosen. We gotta keep the commandments, yeah. Got all them ships and we landed here. Cause we got curse from the man upstairs. We don't put faith on the man over here. Only put faith on the most I. I'm from the city where most died. Deuteronomy 28, oh my. We gotta love on each other. Our sisters and brother, he could come in no time. Most I lift me up when it's showtime. I pray have mercy upon mine. Don't wanna be around when it go down. We the chosen ones, 12 tribes we gon' overcome Babylon know it's overdone, look what they did to the chosen one. Keep the commandments for real, stick together cause it's about to get real Love each other, I don't care how you feel Forgive your brother, you could die, go to hell Shalom My people, we the chosen of God, we're supposed to have each other back Let's come together, everybody be flexing, ain't nobody out finessing Start showing love, then we all gon' be blessed We as one nation, don't throw up no sense I'm showing that love from the east to the west So helping each other, then we will not stress uh, My people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh.